Hey y'all, Rachel here from Knit Aid Joys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I have a craft for ya. Dirty dishes, peaceful wishes, blissful messes tangled up in joy. So we are about to do a mother-daughter tea party and I am in charge of planning it, of course, because I love doing that kind of thing. And I wanted to have some tablecloths, but they are really expensive and our budget didn't include that in for how much we were doing for each person, which was $6 per person with 23 people. It's $138, I think. So that included getting all the craft supplies, the table decor, the flowers, everything that we needed. And we didn't have room for and for prizes, and we didn't have room for tablecloths. Um, even table runners run kind of expensive. So what I did was I got two yards of fabric that was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So it was $8, and with those two yards, I am going to make three table runners, and I am going to show you how. For this project, you're going to need two yards of any kind of fabric. I've got this really pretty floral butterfly theme one. You're going to need some heat and bond. This is kind of old and it's been in my sewing stuff, but I am going to use this so hopefully it works still. And some scissors and an ironing board and iron. First step, you're going to want to lay all the fabric out and see if it needs to be ironed and if not, You'll need to cut along the edges so that you have all of that a clean cut. I'm going to put it in this amount of fabric into thirds now. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And once I do that, then I'm going to cut along each of these lines. That way I will have three table runners. There might be a more professional way to do this, but I am just a DIYer, so I am just cutting and eyeballing all of the edges, and so I have three strips. I'm in my laundry room here, and I've lined this on here, and I believe this stuff probably normally sticks on here. I don't know, because I've never really worked with it. I just had it in my craft closet, and then you fold it over, and then you iron it. I have the iron on the cotton setting on the highest temperature that it goes. And so far, so good. Once you've got both sides done, then you'll do the same thing to this and fold it over. And then you'll have a completed tablecloth, no or table runner, no sew. Come on to do the last edge. If you fold the tip over like this, then when you iron it over, then it will have a cornered edge that looks like this. When you're all done, you'll have three table runners that are no sew do-it-yourself, and they will look beautiful on your table like this in our kitchen, or even if you have a tea party. And here are a couple clips from the tea party. That was a really simple way, a no-sew way to make a table runner. You could do these for birthdays, holidays, events really easily. You could easily sew it too if you'd like to, but I want to do an easy no-sew type of craft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you want to see more videos and we will see you next time. Bye guys.